According to the most recent Massachusetts Youth Risk Behavioral Survey, 17% of girls in high school reported they've experienced sexual violence in a relationship, and that number is up 15% from 2017. Amanda Callahan is getting answers from survivors and young advocates here in Western Mass who are working to combat teen dating violence by spreading awareness to young people. About five, four and a half years ago, almost five, I left my ex-husband who I had been with since high school. We were high school sweethearts. We were young. Um, it was a huge huge step for me to take as we had been together for like 20 years. Lee Grise started dating her ex-husband when she was 15 years old. They did everything together, from hanging out with friends, playing sports, even attending the same college. At the time, Grise thought that was what everyone was doing, spending all their time with their significant other. But things started to change when she was looking to do things on her own. I wasn't happy. I was contemplating, you know, what's wrong with me, OCD, anxiety. I couldn't do anything right. That's when Grise started going to therapy and decided to take a break from her relationship to work on herself. But that didn't stop her ex from reaching out when she went to Westfield State to visit some of their mutual friends. I hadn't been drinking or anything. I was just hanging out and he's just slamming me like I'm trying to cheat on him. The things that he was calling me, like kids from high school were coming up behind and reading like, why is he talking to you like this? But shortly after, they got back together and she moved in with him. And that's when Grise says the feelings of jealousy from her ex intensified. We had gotten in a fight at this point over my friend, and that was the first time we he physically ever went at me. But it would be years later before he was physically abusive again. The two got married and had two sons together. It wasn't until after the birth of their second child that Grise says others started pointing out the signs of abuse. The breaking point for her when the family found themselves without a place to stay. I was stuck with our two children and I had talked to his family. And I, I knew that one of them had a house that might have room for us. And I told her everything that had been going on, what, you know, some of the physical stuff that had happened. And she looked at me and said, you need to choose a roof over your head and your children's or your husband because no one will take you in with him. And at that point, I had nowhere to go. That's when Grise went to the police and asked for help, finally realizing she had been in a violent, abusive relationship since 15. It's so funny when I left him, all of the things that came back to me, things that I just dismissed. The constant correction of my vocabulary, my chewing. She tells Western Mass News it's with the help of domestic violence advocates that she's been able to overcome these challenges and she hopes others can do the same, especially when the abuse starts at such an early age. They're not all the same. Everybody's story is different because no two people are the same. But it's how you treat someone and what, you know, it's looking for those signs. And there's a group of young advocates right here at Ware High School working to make themselves and their peers aware of the signs of domestic violence at an early age. Well, I wasn't really educated on it, which I think is the best part about this is I get to educate people who don't know about it and I get to spread information and keep everyone safe and aware. Like I didn't realize like how many people like around us deal with it and like they would like tell their stories. The War High School Domestic Violence Task Force got its start in 2009 and is made up of about 20 students. Western Mass News sat down with some of the young advocates who tell us hearing stories like Grise's is what inspires them. At the walk earlier in this year, we heard about a bunch of stories of domestic violence, and I think it really showed to everyone how much it can happen and that they're not alone if it does happen to them. And the girls say being part of the task force not only helps them to see warning signs of violent teen dating, but also in their peers. Being a part of like something like this, it kind of makes it to where you can see the warning signs ahead of time. It makes you almost like better prepared to know like what the next steps and what the progression of it could be. And when asked if they can see the difference this group is making inside their high school, the answer was a resounding yes, with the hopes of continuing that progress in the future. Spreading this message through the young and like upper development years of like this generation would be very, very important for just like the progress with domestic violence and kind of making it known that this isn't something you have to go through alone and it's not something that needs to happen or that you need to be okay with. Reporting in Ware, Amanda Callahan, Western Mass News.